Church, God bless you. Let's all stand and start our service in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. As we open up our hearts before you to receive from you. We just come to you the way we are. And we say, Holy Spirit, touch us. Heal us today. Move in our lives today. As we surrender to your hands, we say, Father, we cast all our cares into you. 
God, we say thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. And in our service today, Father, we ask for your spiritual blessings. We ask for your anointing to flow. And Holy Spirit, touch your people. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Church, God bless you. As you know, today is going to be a, a nice service. I saw pretty shot. The pastor is going to be speaking about lifting up. Words. Brother Joe is going to be talking about lifting up words. So let's open up our hearts to receive from God later on. Thank you for coming to church. God bless you. Come on, let's praise
praise you, Jesus. Parkes Jesus. I'm so glad to see all of you here. Yes, and can urakh and vorduk bolorat nerkaek. God bless each and every single one of you. Asfats orti bolorit. Uh, we're excited to be here with you. Yes, men shat urakh and vorzer bolorit nerkaek. A um, couple of announcements for today, church. Yes, I saw me kani hai ta rutsun unen yeke kaitsi. Uh, to those who, who don't know or it's their first time here. Uh, we have Bible studies throughout, throughout the week. Um, on Tuesday in our fellowship hall at 7 p.m. Um, and it's led by our head pastors. We encourage you to come. And and many more uh, Bible studies, including Karachis, on Wednesday nights. Um, if you're interested, just approach a leader and they'll help you out. Church, there is a great opportunity to serve. Um, if you guys are interested, uh, approach our sister Vartuk after church. Um, and talk to her. There's an opportunity to serve at, at church. With our worship leader. Amen. Praise God. Um, other than that, church on uh, Monday, which is tomorrow, there's the young lady gathering. It's going to be at 7 p.m. We'll, we'll see if it's going to pop up on the screen. But if not, it's uh, 339 West Lexington Drive. Yeah, West Lexington Drive. We encourage all the young ladies to, to go. Come in unity. And uh, just worship our God and we'll keep you in our prayers. Amen. And um, other than that, church, today we have a word about uplifting. Um, so let's prepare our hearts. Um, I pray that the Holy Spirit penetrates our hearts through the word. That we walk out of here different than we came. God bless each and every single one of you. It's an honor to serve with you guys. And let's invite Pastor Joe to come up. to come up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed is our Lord. Are you happy that you are in the house of the Lord? And we see that people in the world go to many different places to receive joy, but oftentimes they return back to their homes in sadness. But our God is a mighty God. And he is happy that you return to his house always. Lord Jesus Christ is the most precious person in this world. And a person might have uh, many diamonds in his possession. And this person decides, I will go and divide this amongst my brother and myself. And this person will go and approach a juror like our brother, Garo. And he asks that juror, can you divide the stone into two parts that I may give one part to my brother and one part for myself? And the juror looks upon that diamond and says, do you know how expensive the stone is? And they respond and say, I know it's very expensive. 
And they asked, why do you want to divide this? So that I may, and he responds, so I may give my brother's portion to him. And the jeweler agrees and says, fine, let's just divide it. And the jeweler invites his most new, his newest uh, employee to come forward. And he instructs him to divide the stone equally in half right from the middle. And this young jeweler goes and divides the, the stone and brings it right back. And the owner of the stone asked the jeweler, why did you give this to a new employee who's not experienced? Maybe they could have damaged the stone. And the, the jeweler says the following. The one who does not know the value of the stone will work on it very freely. But I know how expensive this stone is. If I were to be the one to work on it, I might get nervous and cause a problem. So oftentimes we think we must give it to the best person who's most experienced in this job. But we have to give it to someone, uh, sometimes we may have to give it to someone who's new. What do I want to say by this? Our Christ is a, he's very precious. And if you keep that stone just to yourself, you will have no value from it. You are called to share this stone with your relatives, with your family members, with your friends. But there's also another uh, Viewpoint we could look at. Someone who's new to the faith can also be, in some ways, in the world and also in Christ. But someone who is seasoned in their faith will not do such things. And I want to encourage you today, beloved brothers and sisters. You have that precious stone within you. And I am encouraging you today to recognize how precious that stone is within you. And, and and we, we just uh, exhort all of you to keep that stone within you as a precious value within yourself. Uh, in the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 38, and we see here that uh, Apostle Peter uh, speaks and he says that God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and power. And he will go from region to region doing good works. And we see over here summarize the works of Jesus Christ. If we try to do something on our own, we will see that we can't do anything by ourselves. But with Jesus, we could do all things. Jesus Christ would not cause harm to anyone with his words. But Jesus was very patient. He was very kind. He, he was very loving. And he was very righteous. And he would never rush to do anything. For example, when Lazarus had passed away, you see, he was told about this, he knew about this, but he chose to go and visit them on the fourth day. Why was he that, why was he not shaken? Because he was not led by his, by his flesh, by his own thoughts. 
during the afternoon he would work is gishere agotkeri anum hayr astun vorpesi na asi arabojan ich petke anina and in the evenings he would pray and commune with the father to receive instructions for the following day yerfek der isuse bosh me gorti hamar cher shtabum the lord jesus would never rush to do any work yev na cher neghvum and he would not be bothered or not na petke eragret 5000in heto 4000in For example, he had to feed the 5000 and then the 4000. Եվ նաեւ պետք չասեց, "Ո, այդքան հասնում ենք ոչ դերից կարող ենք վերել, նա ուղղակի հասը վերցրեց, աղոթեց եւ 5000-ը եւ 4000-ը կերան եւ կշտացան." You see he never questioned and asked, "Where will I get the provisions to feed these people?" But he simply took the bread, he gave thanks and then they distributed it. Բայց այդքան հրաշներից հետո դեր փարիսեիցիները եւ սադուկեիցիները ուզում են որպեսի ինչ որ մեկ հրաշ Հիսուս են անցաներ ցույց տար But after witnessing all of those miracles the Pharisees and the Sadducees kept wanting a miracle from Jesus Նա անգամ իր խոսքով մարդկանց էր կենթան ասնում Even by his word Jesus would resurrect people from the dead Բայց նրանք դեռ ուզում էին որպեսի ինչ որ մեկ հրաշ լիներ But they still kept asking him to do a miracle for them Երբ որ երբ որ Հիսուս պետք է խաչվեր When Jesus was to be crucified ողջ երկինքը լացում էր All of the he- all, all the heavens were weeping Սանդալամենտը ուրախ էր ծրող էր Oh and and uh, hell was rejoicing Բայց երբ որ նա թաղվեց But whenever he was buried եւ երրորդ օր հարություն առավ And on the third day he resurrected Տեղերը փոխվեցին We see that everything was flipped Երկինք ուրախացավ We see heavens rejoiced եւ ծրողը սկսեց լացել And hell began to weep Ինչու Ինչու որովհետեւ դեր Հիսուսը հարություն առա եւ նա հաղթեց հակառակորդին իր իստան մեջ ամեն ալելույա This is because Jesus resurrected and he overcame Satan Սիլիխ բասելի քույր Beloved brothers and sisters Դեր Հիսուսը որ մեղչուներ նա խաչվեց Our Jesus Christ who had no sins was crucified Այսօր աշխարի բոլոր ղեկավարները ունեն օգնականներ խորթականներ We see that the rulers of this world have counselors besides them. Եվ նրանք ինչ որ մեկ բան անելու համար իրենց խո իրենց օգնականներից խորհուրդ են հարցնում։ And we see that before they do anything they will go and speak with their counselors. Դեր Հիսուսը լինելով ղեկավարների ղեկավար թակավորների թակավոր And our Lord Jesus Christ being the Lord of Lords the King of Kings. Եվ նա եկավ մեզ տառայից։ He came to serve you and I. Եվ նա եկավ որպես մեզի խորհուրդ տա։ And he came to give us counsel. Եվ մենք այսօր պետք է կարողանանք շատ տեղ տալ եւ կնհատել Քրիստոսի տված ամեն մեկ խորհուրդը մեր կյանքի մեջ։ And we have to give space and also honor the the counsel of our Lord Jesus Christ in our hearts. Բողոս առաքյալը շատ մեծ առաքյալ էր։ We know that Paul the apostle was a great apostle. Նա ազդեցիկ առաքյալ էր։ Ազդեցիկ որ ազդում եմ։ So he was a, a, a an apostle that had great influence. Բայց Բողոս առաքյալը այդ քանիս հետո նա ասում էր որ ինձ զորացնողը Հիսուս Քրիստոսն է։ But after all that he would claim that Jesus Christ was the one who strengthened him. Բողոս առաքյալ նաև ասում է որ ես շնորհակալ եմ ծերելի եկեղեցի որ դուք ինձ համար աղոթք եք անում։ Apostle Paul will say thank you for praying for me. Այսօր մեր եկեղեցու հավակները ինչ որ մեկ գործ կատարելու համար ոչ թե ամեն տեղ ասում են փարտիրոջ որտեղ նա է մեզ զորացնում այլ ինչ որտեղ նաև հոգեվոր մարդկանց աղոթների արդյունք է որ հովիվները հասնում են աստո գործի մեջ հաջողության And we see that even those who are leaders in the churches today they recognize that it's not because of themselves but because of the prayers of the congregation or the church at large Բողոս առաքյալը շատ է վստահում աստո մարդկանց And we see that Apostle Paul really trusted the the people of God. Եվ նա ասում էր ես ձեզ վրա մեծ վստահություն ունեմ։ And he would say I trust you greatly. Ինչու եմ ասում դա? Why did why do I say this? Աստու մարդը պետք է վստահի իր առաջնորդին եւ նաեւ Տեր Հիսուս Քրիստոսին ամենակարևոր գետը։ And we see that a a a servant of God must trust their leader. Ոչ մեկ հոգեվոր առաջնորդ իր եկեղեցու ոչ մեկ անդամին բաբան խորհուրդ չի տա։ And we see that And we see that a leader in a church does not give bad counsel to to those that they are entrusted with. Shall la te norni arat yekpores. Jam jamanakak jamanakakits martu khantinerits amena meke naye vor inke iren tsater e ganahatum ir arjeke.
Whenever someone attempts to do something and they're not able, they will immediately begin to say, I am a weak individual. And in order to have a joyful life, and to have a healthy life, you have to become confident but you must actually rather trust more in Jesus Christ. And there are many people who say, I cannot and I cannot, and they stay in that weakened state. But Paul the Apostle said, I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And we see that a uh, majority of humanity is not content with their wages. There are many people who do not like the work that they do. Some portion cannot even find work to do. And it's another person has many difficulties in their personal life or in their family. There are some that are suffering through loneliness. There are some that have a hard time uh, having relationships with other people. But for all these issues that people face, the answer is common, and his name is Jesus Christ. There's many people that think that I am the best. And there's no one greater than I am. And uh, he Oh, and they could do all things if they did not have this issue in their life. You see, my beloved brothers and sisters, God has called you to carry out his ministry with trust. And I want to encourage you today, do not say, I cannot. You are not weak. You are not unable. But you are mighty in Christ Jesus. And we see that Apostle Paul, as a man, he was truly weak. But when we read Philippians 4, verse 13, he says, I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And we see that the secret here is not who uh, Apostle Paul was, but in whom he trusted in. And we see that Apostle Paul claimed that uh, he lived very well while he was in the world, but he considered all those things as rubbish to gain Christ Jesus. Whenever you do anything, believe that it is the Lord that strengthens you to do that work. And we see that whenever you do any work with the power of God, God is truly glorified and people rejoice that God is among them. Whenever someone does not reach any sort of success, they begin to blame others. But we are not called to blame other people. And we see when someone is young, they are not afraid of anything, but they are very courageous to do whatever they want. Why is this? Because they know that their parents will defend them. I've seen many children that whenever they've encountered a dog, they, they immediately approach the dog to pet it. 
իհարկե ես նման բան չեմ անում ախենը մեխներից բայց երեխան գնում եւ մոտենում է այսան երծիրում է you see i'm afraid to go and and pet a dog immediately but we see that children are not afraid բայց մենք այսօր արդեն մեծացել ենք եւ մենք գիտենք որ մեր պաշտպանը ոչ թե մեր տնողն է մեր եղբայրը կամ մեր քույրը այլ մեր պաշտպանը մեր տեր հիսուս քրիստոսն է and now that we have matured we should all recognize that our defendants are not our parents but our defendant is the lord jesus christ գիտես ես երբ եք չեմ տեսել աստուն հավատացող աստուն վստահող մարդ որը որ լինի you know i've never seen someone who trusted in god որն որն լինի տգեղ and and they be and they were ugly որն լինի վախկոտ and they were a, a, a fearful այլ աստուն մարդը լինում է գեղեցիկ but someone who who loves god is is beautiful na linume urakh yerjanik they are joyful yev heshtoren haktarume bolor khantineri inchu vor dev nera oknakane hisus kristosn e but they overcome all their difficulties because the one who helps them is jesus christ menk vorpes asto yerekha linelov and we as children of god vosh me yerekha ir kanki mech vosh mi gerazank chi unerum yev chi pahom and and we see that Okay uh Oh we see that little children do not have dreams for their future Yes stivats em hayrenits hayren takmane vor yekparer no takmane aler no Naik naik yerekhaner nrank chen yeraznum mishur mi bani masin And we see that little children don't have dreams for the future. But they quite simply just ask from their parents. Papa, hetanev em uzum? Dad, I want a new bicycle. Kam asenk, chun em uzum, kati em uzum, khagalik em uzum. Amen, inch vor nerank uzum en, nerank chen, chen khentrum, ayl uagi pahanjum en. Asmen, papa, yes ait ban uzum en. And we see that they're not pleading for their parents, but they're demanding and saying, I want this thing. Ihark ait pahanj asas bara mi kich այդպես հարաբերական է բայց նրանք հավատքով խնդրում են որ իրենց տնողը ինչ որ երեխան ուզի նա իրենց առնի տա and we see that the the children are are asking their parents that whatever they want they they should receive from them այսօր մենք լինելով աստու երեխա and today as children of god ինչ որ մեկ բան է մեզի պետք մենք հավատքով ենք խնդրում քրիստոսից whatever we need we must ask by faith եւ դեր իսուսը նայելով մեզ տալիս է ամեն մեկս ինչ որ մենք խնդրում ենք And the Lord uh, by seeing us he gives us whatever we ask. Իհարկե մենք խնդրում ենք ոչ թե մեր այլ նրա կամքի համար որ նա մեզ տա։ Of course we ask in accordance to his will. Իմ ստելի եղբայր, իմ ստելի քույր։ My beloved brother and sister. Ես ես հորդորում եմ մեկ անգամ եւս։ I'm encouraging you one more time. Որ քիչ մեր ամբողջ վստահությունը լինի մեր տեր Հիսուս Քրիստոս։ That our entire trust will be on Jesus Christ. Ոչ թե մարդը Not on man. Ոչ թե մեր բարեկամները, հոպարները, քերիները. Not on our relatives, uncles and aunts. Այլ մեր տեր Հիսուս Քրիստոսը. But on our Lord Jesus Christ. Մոսեսին աստված ասաց, անիծյալ է այն մարդը, որը որը իր հույսը պետք է դնի մարդու վրա. God told Moses that cursed is the man that puts their trust in man. Եվ այսօր մենք մեր հույսը դնում ենք Հիսուսի վրա. And today we put our trust or our hope in Jesus Christ. Եվ եթե մի բան քեզի պետք է, ապա աստված անգամ շատ մարդկան սրտերը փոխում է, որպեսի նա քեզ տա այն ինչը որ քեզի հարկավոր է։ And often times when we request something, God will change the hearts of others that you may receive what you what you're asking for. Թող աստված օրինի որպեսի մեր հավատքի հիմքը ամենա գերագույնը լինի Քրիստոսը։ Չփոխենք մեր հավատքի ոչ մեկ հիմքը Հիսուս Քրիստոսի հետ։ And I pray that we will always keep our faith on Jesus Christ and not on anyone else. Որտեղ Տեր Հիսուսն ասաց ես եմ կյանքը։ Because Jesus said I am the life. Եվ այդ կյանքը նա այսօր տվել է ինձ համար քես համար գոգոթայի խաչի վրա։ And he gave us that life on the cross. Եվ երբ եք նման ոչ մեկ ազնվորություն չի եղել եւ չի լինի, նա միակն էր եւ վերջինն էր։ Amen. And there's never been anyone like him or will there be anyone after him like him. Ես ուզում եմ որպես իկ անգնենք ոդքի սերելի մարդ։ And I want us all to stand on our feet. Գիտես, երբ որ դու գնում ես քո ղեկավարի մոտ, you see whenever you go to uh, your ruler, դու նրա հետ չես նստում նոր խոսում, դու անպայման կանգնած խոսում ես նրա հետ։ When you speak to a ruler, you don't uh, speak to him while sitting down. You stand and you speak. Մենք եկել ենք Հիսուսի մոտ։ We've come before Jesus. Մենք եկել ենք Աստծո մոտ։ We've come before God. Եվ մենք մտել ենք Աստծո սրահները։ 
and we are in his halls. Through his halls, we've come before God to encounter him. And that encounter is a unique joy that comes before us. Let us pray that the Lord Jesus Christ is prepared to hear us, to answer us, and to provide us those counsels that we need. Beloved Jesus, we are humbled before you. May you be glorified within us. And, and be magnified in all of us. Because you are our Lord. You are our hope. You are our, our mighty counselor. Speak to every one of us, Lord. And lead us, Lord. And you be magnified. In Jesus' name. And I also pray for, uh, pray for the second word that we're about to hear. And I pray that the word will be mighty and filled with wisdom for the glory of God. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may sit, be seated.
Thank you very much. God bless you. Go hang did your cheats. We are grateful of the Lord that we have yet another opportunity. Do you know where you are right now? But you are before the grace of God. You are before his throne. That whatever you ask by faith, that the Holy Spirit is ready to minister to you. I am thankful and happy that you are here. And we are even uh, happier that the Holy Spirit is within us. Do you know why? Because he is here with us until the end of the age. And today I want to once more return. And, and speak on this by this example. That whenever I take a shower in the mornings, I begin to clean my ears. I'm hoping that all of you have cleaned your ears. <laughs> Do you know why I say this? The Word of God teaches us. Whoever has an ear, let them listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Because this lesson is a very unique lesson today. And I want to remind you all today, Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 17, that the word of God uh, is written down uh, Moses. That if you have a servant in your household, and if this servant, after many years of serving you, if they say to you, I want to remain as a servant in your household until uh, all my life, if you have given such a promise to the Lord that you will serve him until the end of your life, we have a tool for that. It is a very good tool. Do you know what this tool is? And we when we see someone who's a shoemaker is or someone who works with leather is in their hand, they would have something called an owl. So that they could puncture the leather, so they could, uh, you know, bind it. So this is what we use for cutting And the word of God says, if someone wants to be a servant in your household, what are you to do? And it says that you should get his right ear. Be very careful. Today we're going to puncture your ears. Put his ear on the doorpost and, and puncture it with this owl. But this is going to cause you pain. <laughs> Why is Brother David not here with us today? They took out one of his glands. And that's why he's unable to come and translate for us. Today. And, but today we're going to be puncturing your ears. What's going to happen to you? But, but we see God told Moses to take the servant and put his ear on the doorpost and puncture it with this owl that he will be their, his, you know, their servant until the end of their life. Our ears are to be punctured on the door, Amen. and that door is Jesus Christ. Let your ear continually hear the word of God. Do not pay attention to other things. And today I want to speak about those who want to be leaders or those who are leaders in the house of God. We have an amazing worship team. 
ունենք շատ լավ խմբակի ծառայողներ, պատասխանատուներ։ We have amazing leaders in our Bible studies. Ունենք երիտասարդական աղոթքի քույրերի լավ ծառայողներ։ And we have young ladies that are part of a prayer groups. Ունենք աղոթքա ժողովի քույրի ինչ էր անունիտ եստեր քրոջ քույր որպես ծառայողներ խմբի անունն է դա եստեր and we have many blessed sisters in our in our midst that are part of the Esther group եւ ունենք լավ ավետարանիչ ինչպես տեսնում եք իմ գողքը and we also have an evangelist beside me ես շնորհակալ եմ ձեր ոլորից and i'm thankful for you all շնորհակալ եմ հագոբ գեզանից հրաճից pastor jack joy ehporit He's thankful of Pastor Jack, Pastor Joe. Our brother Argish and Artin, we're very thankful of you as well. You guys are amazing. Every one of you is a gift from heaven. And we see that a leader could have these four questions. Do kes petke khnes ay sorva is dasi mej. Do dera mej inch pes es gas achum es the gahum es. And you must examine yourself after this lesson. Arachina Danieli arachi geluk chorot khos kne. And we see in Daniel chapter one verse four. Ye por se gas panu chune ye gav na bu gotonosor heraman el dali. That after the genocide occurred, Nebuchadnezzar gave the command. I said, "Ureman Daniel, Arachi ke luch chorot hamari mej ay zeve asun." In Daniel chapter one verse four, it says the following. Yes, mem yerot hamari snail. But we'll look from verse three. Yev takabur aset zir nek na bedi aspanezin bor bere Israeli bor kans takabur akans segerits. And we see that the the king told his servants to go and get the talented people from among the the. थकाबोरीवादार One of them was to uh, abide in the royal palace and to serve the king. Bor chap aravel ais or asvats uzume bor du ait pisin lines. And how much more does God want you to be like this? Uremen uzmem ait pnvtakir nerits arachina andradarnal. And I want to to look at these attributes. Yegrot gor entatsineri 6-erort geluk. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6 अनुचान For what fellowship does righteousness have with unrighteousness? Gam inch hagortutyun uni luis e khavari het. And what communion has light with darkness? Gam inch meabanutyun uni Christos e Belial het. And what concord has Christ with Belial? Gam havadasial e anhavati het. And uh, or what part has he that believes with an infidel? Gam inch har marutyun uni aso dajar e gurka pashtutyan dajar i het. And what agreement does the temple of God have with idols? Եվ ասո խոսքը ասում է որ ես բնակում եմ ձեր մեջ։ And the word of God says I dwell within you. Եթե գլինեմ ձեր դերը, ձեր աստվածը, ձեր առավելը։ And I am your Lord, your God, your creator. Եթե դուք համաձայնություն տաք այդ բոլորին։ If you are in agreement with all of these things. Ուրեն մենք նայում ենք։ And we see now Arachina the first ինչպես դանիելի գրքի մեջ կարդացինք as is within the book of daniel արա չես ունենալու ինչ պիտի ունենալ աչքդ գույր խուլ այս ձև ասեմ oh you are to not have any blemish in your life եւ դու այստեղ ես եկել չես կարող ասել ես խուլ եմ when you come here you are not to say that i cannot hear ես ձեզ ասի ձեր աղանշները մակրել եք ինչպես ես եմ մակրել այսօր i ask you today have you not cleaned your ears today like i have դու պատրաստեք ձեր սրտի աչքերը բացելեք լսելու 
you have come prepared you've opened up your heart to listen let's see yete ko achkere im vera chen ais usutsman mej du lav ches karohanalu sovores if you are not paying attention to me right now you will not uh, learn very well dera mar yep vor du lesum es etke ko hayats ko uges chisht you have to pay attention yev ko agan che betke ais teg das and you have to give your ear uremen badrasek That's why prepare yourself. Andra darnum eng aso khoskin. We're going to continue in the word of God. Arachin vor asume bena vamachunena sakhal baner. The first point says that you will not have any blemish in your life. Da evor meng yet vor aistegh en kali. That means that whenever we come here, du garogh es ko herakhose mi vom dnes. You could put your phone aside. Du ches egel aistegh vor herakhosov spaghbes. You have not come here to spend time on your phone. Gam ko agan che herakhosin e desnes inch ख As we progress in our Christian walk. Arachi goren tasneri veser ort geluk tas nergu hamari arachi maste muzum andra darnal. And we're going to be reading from Second Corinthians chapter. Let's just go look. Ayo das nergu husk. Chapter six verses twelve. As me amen ban ori navori inzi bais amen ban o kuchi dali. The apostle uh, Paul is saying all things are lawful for, but not all things are fruitful or or beneficial to me. I think an amen in chevor ardom bats egam okude berum mez. In other words, not everything brings a benefit to our lives. Du karu gesasel sa inzi chi hangarum. You may say that this does not bother me. But meng bet ke ais dasi mech naeng. But we must learn from these lessons. I need to do anomes. Are you not aware of also how can meds are born? Make how can come? That which you do, does it glorify the Holy Spirit? There are parabol. Who make how can come? Take watch. Is the Lord glorified by your life or not? Yet to me, ban es anom bor sur how can best anom make how meds? But if you do something that grieves the Holy Spirit, do me as I im hamar hajelieda. Do not say that this is good for me. Me good say gasets. And you may also say But yes there is a no chem lesum I don't hear the voice of the Lord Remember him hamar harmare da That's why it's convenient for me to do this Yete du dero zaina ches lesum If you are not hearing the voice of the Lord Mi guts eko agan che zanratsele That might mean that your ear has been uh, has gotten too heavy Betke makres da And you may have to clean your ear Inch betke anek vor mer agan che tse zanrana What should we do so that our ears are not burdened? Amen or asvatsa shunche betke ko achkeri arach lini. You must have the word of God before your eyes daily. Du betke amen or zamanak das gartalu yev agotelu. You must spend time reading the word and praying daily. Vor ko achkeri luise che bagasi. So that the light in your eyes does not get diminished. Vor meda ait achkeri luise. What is that light that's in our eyes? Vor sakhal baner chanes. So that we don't do things that are wrong. Chases vor da im hamar kareli ye. And and do not say that those things are for me and they're they're uh, they're allowed for me to do. Jesus nasume. The Lord Jesus says. Yes, che megel ins im gam ke gadarelu. I have not come to do my own will. Ail es egel em im hor gam ke gadarelu. But I've come to do the will of my Father. Ameni che vor mes ardom bats e gam okut kaberi. Not everything brings a benefit to our lives. Ka baner vor Meng mezeng ardonum, by surpo kinda chi ardonum. There are some things that we say that are allowed for us, but the Holy Spirit does not allow us to do those things. Egyek rot kede saibor artyok da ins esteruge darsunum ein inchi mechor yesasumem gareli evor yesanem. Also, does that thing which I do make me a slave? Mi kutse yes dera gerinem darnum artem. Isn't it possible that you become a slave to that thing which you are doing? Right, or be spiritually zambas. Yes, but as a member, so Khalban chemanum. But as a born again believer, I am convincing myself that I'm not doing anything wrong. It is yeh bayr. Yes, kesh chem bastatsenum. You know, brother, I am not grieving you. Right, art yo ko mechi hokin ko ait arar ko ko arats gorzov. Na mezarume tiroche yeh asume vor sa chishte anum. But ask yourself, that work that you're doing, is it? Glorifying the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit in agreement with you? Yes, some me da se vor meng mez bet ke kneng u desneng. This is a lesson that we must now take and examine ourselves. Ko kyanka 
your life հաջելի է դիրոճը is it pleasing for for the lord անում ես այն ինչ որ տերն է ուզում are you doing that which the lord wants you to do նորից անդրադառնում ենք առաջի գորընթացները 6-րդ գլուխ 12 խոսքի 2-րդ մասը and we're going to once again return to uh, corinthians ամեն բան օրինավոր է ինձի բայց ես մի բանի իշխանության տակ պետ չէ լինեմ 6-12 ասում է ամեն ինչ կարելի է բայց ես դրա իշխանության տակ չեմ she says all things are allowed to me but i am not under that rule or that authority մենք պետք է սովորենք ամեն բարագաների մեջ մեզ ղեկավարել մեր վրա մենք մեզ պետք է իշխենք կառավարենք ոչ թե պետք է գնացքո ցանկություններով բաճերի դեսածով But in every situation you are to have self control over yourself and not be led by the lust of your eyes. Ոչեր քո սրտի փափակո պետք է գնաս. Or by the desires of your heart. Ոհետեւ Ժեհովողը հետեւյալն է ասում. Because we see the word of God says the following. Ասում է քո աչկերի դեսած ով երդասած կարող ես անել եւ քո սրտի փափակը կարող ես անել. The word of God says oh young person you could do uh you could go after the things your eyes see and do the desires of your heart. But we see that it says that on the last day you're going to have to give an account for all those things. In other words we are not just given an account to man. But we will give an account to to the Lord. And the third point is the following. Աթյո քսա քայտագրության պատճառ գդառնա այլ քրիստոնյաների համար։ Will this become a stumbling block for other Christians? Այն ինչ որ ես անում եմ։ That which I do. Որևէ առաջի գորընթացների 8-րդ գլուխ 13 խոսք։ In 1 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 13 Ասում է եթե գերակուրը իմ եղբորը քայտագրեցնում է, ես հավիդյան մեզ չեմ ուտի որ իմ եղբայրը չկայտագրեցնեմ If the food or the meat that I eat causes my brother to stumble I will abstain from that meat Ուրեմն մենք անդրադառնում ենք արդյոք ցա կայտագրեցնում է իմ այս արածը And that's why we must reflect and see that which I do does that cause is my brother to stumble Այսպես ասեմ Ավելի թանկ գնահատել Քրիստոսո փրկված եղբոր եւ քերոջը քանստե քո ցանկությունը In other words, you should regard that uh, precious brother and sister more than that that work that you want to do. Գիտես դեր այնքան մեծ է գնահատել քեզ, այնքան թանկ է գնահատել քեզ, the Lord has valued you so highly, որ հայր իր միացին որդին աշխար է ուղարկել քեզ համար. That the Father sent his only begotten son for you. Քո փրկության համար։ For your salvation. Մենք կարող ենք իրար շինություն տալ։ Can we bring edification to one another? Եկե ճանանք որ իրար ձեր դանք բարձրացնենք իրար եւ ոչ թե իրար վնասենք։ But let us all lift each other hands up and not cause harm to one another. Նա մանավանդ նրա համար որ այն ինչ որ ինձ արդոնված չէ ես ասում եմ կարելի է անել։ Especially those things which are not allowed for me and I say to you all actually it's allowed for me to do. Մինչ քո անելը դու մտածի դիրոճ առաջ Before you do anything meditate that you are before the Lord. Արդյոք քո այդ արածը գրված է սուր փոքու պատուղի մեջ. That which you want to do is that written as a a part of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Եթե դա սուր փոքու պատուղի մեջ գրված չէ, ուրեմն դա մարմնավոր է. If that's not listed in the fruits in the Holy Spirit, that means it is of the flesh. Այստեղ մի դժվար խնդիր չկա որ դու մտածես։ This is not a difficult thing for you to contemplate any longer. Այսեղ մի բան է որ դու պետք է լիովին նվիրվես դիրոճը։ But this is a case where you must completely rely on the, on the Lord. Դա մենք ենք ընդդրում, անենք թե չանենք։ And we have the decision to make whether we should do or not do. Ուրեմն անդրադառնում եմ չորրորդ գետը։ And now we will look upon the fourth point. Արդյոք այն ինչ որ ես անում եմ, նա փարավորում է իմ դիրոճը թե ոչ։ That which I do does that glorify the Lord or not? Առաջի գորընթացների 10-րդ գլուխ 31 համարը։ And we're going to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 31։ Ասում է ուրեմն թե ուտենք թե խմենք, ինչ գործը որ էլ անենք, ամեն բան աստծո փարքի համար արեք։ Whether therefore you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. Այսպես ասեմ, մեծարիր աստուն քո բոլոր վարմունքների մեջ, քո բոլոր գործերի մեջ մեծարիր դիրոճը։ 
In other words, magnify the Lord with all you do. And I want to return back to the third point. So great, uh, I guess, advice is for those who are in leadership. So I give you a, an advice. Because I say that where you're going is going to be dangerous for you. Or this other thing, don't do it. Because you'll have bad consequences. This is called advice. The, God gives you advice. How does he give us counsel? Through his word. And through his Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is within you. And you must be prepared to hear from him. That's why I think about these things. And I want to go back to the Old Testament. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 15. Because this is what uh, says the Almighty who dwells in eternity and whose name is holy. The Lord says, I dwell in the highest and in a holy place. But I am near the brokenhearted so that I may bring life to those who are humble. Where does the Lord dwell? He is in the highest, in the heaven. He is in heaven. But he says, I am near the, the humble. So that I, I may give life to those that are humble. So that I may give life to those that are humble. You as a born again believer, you must be a humble example for others. Leaders must be humble people. I uh, just uh, before I, I, I gave thanks to those that were ministering in the church. And you must have these qualities within you. And you must work on yourself. And next week we have our brother Andres and sister Martha's wedding. Do you know that they are preparing for that day? Not just for that day. But they've been preparing for months in advance. A year before they selected the restaurant. They didn't prepare last minute. Now you must be preparing yourself. Because the groom is coming uh, is coming closely. Or is coming uh, is coming. <laughs> You won't say, don't say to yourself, when the groom comes, then I'll prepare myself. The young person beside me is prepared. He wants Christ to come. Blessed is the Lord. Okay, now we return back to the word of God. The word of God counsels us to help the, the humble servants. In Jacob, uh, James chapter 4, James so James chapter 4, verse 6 says, But he gives more grace. Wherefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace unto the humble. 
Ներգործությանը սուրբ հոգու։ We see that leaders they have a dependence on the work of God within them. Ինչ մեզ է լինում որ սուրբ հոգին գործում է այդ առաջնորդների մեջ։ How does the Holy Spirit work within a a leader? Երբ որ նրանք խոնար են։ It's only when they are humble. Նա ինչ պես է անում որ սուրբ հոգին կոմեշն է մտնում։ How does the Holy Spirit come within a person? Դեր նասում է ես կայնել եմ թրանը։ The Lord says that he is standing before the door. Մենք դուր ենք Հիսուսի համար։ We are all a door for the Lord Jesus Christ. Եվ ասում է ես այս դրանը սրտին թակում եմ։ And he says I have been I am knocking on the the door of that heart. Դեր ինչով ես թակում? Lord how are you knocking? Այս ձևի հարվածը չեմ ստացել սրտիս վրա։ I haven't felt anything like that on my heart. Բայց այս խոսքը ավելի դիպուկ է քան ձե այն հարվածը, այն թագոցը։ This word is more penetrating than that knock. Հիմա դեր նասում է Now the Lord says. Եթե մեկը լսի իմ ձայնը, if someone hears my voice, այն հագոցը որ ես տալիս եմ, that knock that which I am giving, եւ նա բացի իր սիրտը, and if they open up their heart, ասում է ես եւ հայրը գանք եւ գբնակվենք այդ սրտի մեջ. He says that my father and myself will come and dwell within that heart. Այս որ դու today, այդ ծառաներից մեկն ես. You are one of those servants. Այս որ դու որ այստեղ ես. Today The, the reason why you are here you may think to yourself pastor i am not ministering in the church this is a great ministry that you are here within us you pray for the edification of the church that the church may grow that the holy spirit may work within us you've came to praise and glorify the lord today you are united with the with the hosts of heaven երգնքում հրեշտակներ եկերոպեները սուրբերն ասում են սուրբ սուր սուրբ է զորացտերը The angels in heaven are proclaiming holy holy is the lord. Մենք այսօր երկրի վրա միացածենք բոլոր եկեղեցիների հետ։ And today here we are united with all the churches. Եվ հարավորում ենք դերերի դեր Հիսուս Քրիստոսի զորավոր անունը։ And we glorify the name of Jesus Christ. Դու գիտես որ այս անվան մեջ կա զորություն։ Do you know that in this name there is power? Եթե դու բացես ծիրոջը համար Whenever you are open before the Lord, now Padras te irish kanutiam zorutiam komeche benagbi. He is ready to uh, dwell within you with power and authority. Astvats hostatsel e khonar zaranerim barsratsnelu hamar. The Lord has promised that He will raise up the humble servants. Astot zaram betke amen or letsvats lini. A servant of God must be always filled. Այսինքն ամեն օր պետք է պատրաստված լինի ինքը ծառայության համար։ In other words they must be always prepared to minister. Արաչի Պետրոս 2-րդ գլուխ 5-րդ խոսք։ In 2 Peter chapter 2 Ասում է դուք երբ քարերի բեշիմբիկ հոգևոր տաճար սուրբ կանայություն որ հոգևոր պատարակներ մատուցանեք աստծո ընդունելի Հիսուս Քրիստոսի ձեռքովը։ 2 Peter chapter 2-րդ համանուն հոգի։ 5-ը So 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 5 says Che Yegor Tulo Ayo Yegor Petro Arachi Petros Sorry 1 Peter chapter 2 Ingerur Tosk verse 5 says the following You also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ Ուրեմն աստված խոնար ծառաներին աջեցնում է So God brings increase to the humble servant. Որոնց ուշադրությունը ոչ թե իրանց վրա է միայն այլ աստծո ժողովրդի վրա է Whose attention is not on themselves but on the people of God. Ֆիլիպեցիների 2-րդ գլուխ In Philippians chapter 2 երրորդ եւ չորրորդ համարները այս ձև է ասում Verses 3 and 4 say the following. Ոչ մի բանի համար ասում է that for nothing the word of god says chelini vor kherkherbek neganak that you will be bothered by anything ye voch ail amen inchi mech ai zev asev khonarutyam megez mek zer anzit averi lav hamarek in humility value others above yourself mian zer anzi okudo mi arek ail zer teminin er don't do things for your own benefit but for the benefit of other people Այսինքն արհամարանքով մի բարվի, փարկությամբ։ 
Yeah, in other words, don't be someone who's selfish or someone who works with vain conceit or anger. But be a gentle and humble person in the name of Jesus. Because that's what the Lord desires. And we're going to go to uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. So this is actually Proverbs. I think it says that a humility allows us to learn whenever we hear the word of God and whenever we are in agreement with the counsels of God that we become free and God begins to, with his wisdom, fill up our hearts. So in Proverbs chapter 11, verse uh, 14, it says that leadership is important to the So the word of God says that a wise person must receive counsel or else it will cause destruction. What is that counsel? Let me give an example. Whenever a shepherd takes out his sheep to her, uh, sheep out, do you know what the, the counsel of the shepherd is? He has a uh, instrument in his hand. And, when, and whenever he plays this instrument, we see that his herd begins to gather. And we, that uh, instrument is now within you, that is the Holy Spirit. Whenever we hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, we want to get even closer. There are some things that will bring benefit to your life. And Peter, about uh, Paul the Apostle yes, says that for Jesus Christ, that which brought benefit to my life, I have considered it rubbish. Where do you keep your trash? Do you keep it beside your bed? You keep your trash in the trash bin. Don't say that this is good for me and it doesn't <laughs> cause me harm. If you want to hear the voice of the Lord, and if you want the Holy Spirit to take you from a power to power, you must pay a price. This is the price that we are now learning in this lesson. And you must pay this. So that God will witness this. And he will say, uh, my well, my good servant. The fourth point, we're going to look at Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. What does it mean to become a person of faith? In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, it says that and without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to him must believe. Okay, and he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. That which you desire, I give it to you. Praise God. And we believe that God is completely faithful to us. We believe that all his promises to us is yes and amen. God does not say that that which I promised to you, I uh, I repent of it, I'm taking it back from you. But he is the Lord of his word. 
մենք հավատում ենք որ նա մեր աղոթները լսում եւ պատասխանում է we believe that he hears and answers our prayers այո յենեսունուց սաբոս երրորդ համարը in psalm 138 verse 3 ասում է այն օրը գանջեն ինձ եւ ես պատասխան գտամ իրանց on that day they will call me and i will answer them ինձ իմ զորությամբ իմ ուժով ես կհայտնվեմ իրանց կյանքում այսպես ասած and with my power i will reveal myself to them Եվ ասում է դու ինձ զորացնում ես եւ ուժովացնում ես ինձ քո թե բնտում ես ինձ դեր and you strengthen me and empower me Միտ կսա է որ երբ որ մենք կանչում ենք մեր հոգիները զորանում են Քրիստոսով that when the 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 point is this that whenever we call on the lord we are strengthened by him men karog en gasel der vogor mir mesi we may say lord have mercy on kai vor men vogor mutyan garik unen because we are in need of mercy bats men aveli mer hokinere zorasnelu garik unen but we are in greater need that our spirits are empowered kareli e diroche khandrel vor na մեր հոգիները ավելի զորացնի քո դե բնդի մեսի is better that we ask that the lord strengthens our spirits մենք ամբողջությամբ պետք է ենթարկվենք դիրոջը we must completely be in submission to the lord մենք հավատում ենք որ աստված մեզ հաջողության գտանի and we believe that god will lead us to success երբ ապրում ենք իր խոսքով whenever we live by his word այսինքն երբ դու ասու խոսքի մեջ ես In other words whenever you are in the word of God in chel vor khandres and whatever you ask dere patrasek es dalu hamar he is prepared to give it to you kartum en yeror tukh tovanu we are reading the third epistle of john na antamen emi galukhe and it's only one chapter yegort khoske the second verse says asme sirelis ahot kem anum vor amen bani mech hajogh yev arogh chlines ինչպես քո հոգին հաջող է Dear friend I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go that all may go well with you even as your soul is getting along well I say ասում է ամեն ինչի մեջ հաջողակ լինես Is saying that in all things you may be successful Ինչ է ուզում դերը մեզանից What does the Lord want from you Որ մենք ամեն ինչի մեջ հաջողակ լինել գնշանակի իր խոսքով գնալ that he wants us to do well in all things or rather he wants us to go by or move by his word men gliovin besahum ek asvats ainich vor du uzum es da patrasum ek es dal whenever we are completely uh faithful to god or we believe in god he is ready to give this thing yete ga ban vor aisor khandrum em yev chem karog anum dirochis es tanal if there's something today you are desiring to the lord and you're not able to receive it hangar chpehatves do not be discouraged ta zamanak kka gata There, there will come a time and you will receive this. Whenever a child sees his mother preparing some sort of greens, there is a, a, a very sharp knife that is used. I have a knife that I spent a hundred dollars on. Yep, yere khan latsum e uzme vor ay danak iran tang vor inka ani. Whenever a child is crying and asking for that knife, but we're not going to give them the knife. Բայց երեխան լացում է։ But the child is crying. Գիտես ինչու չենք տալի։ Do you know why we're not giving that knife to the child? Ոդի մտերն է փրտելու, նա չի մանում այդ աշխատցնելը։ Because they're going to cut themselves, they don't know how to use a knife. Հիմա մի բաներ էր կա որ դու խնդրում ես։ There are some things you are asking. Դեր նասում է հիմա ժամանակը չէ։ The Lord is saying right now is not the time. Դա դու չես կարա պահես։ You cannot grasp that yet. Ասված տալիս է ամեն ինչ քո խնդրվածքին ջի ժամանակին։ God gives what you ask at the right time. Գիտեք, ոչ թե շատը պետք է մենք ինչ որ խնդիրներ ունենանք խնդրենք միշտ ծիրոջից and it's not that we must always plead for things from the lord այլ եկեք նայենք որ մենք նմանվենք մեր ծիրոջը but let's rather uh, become closer resemblance to our lord եփեսացիների երրորդ գլուխ 20 համարը այս ձև է ասում in ephesians chapter երրորդ գլուխ ephesians chapter 3 եփեսացիս 3 20 in verse 20 բայց դուք քրիստոսին այսպես չեք սովորել բայց դուք հավ հես մի ատաց ըմ հովի բայց դուք քրիստոսին այսպես չեք սովորել եթե նրանից լսեցիք եւ նրանից սովորեցիք եւ հեսացները 3:20 Matthew who is able to remember Այս է գսխալ բան մենք չենք սովորել ման մի արի Okay We have not learned something wrong from the Lord մենք հիսուսից սովորել ենք իրան նմանվելը But we have learned from Jesus to become more like him Դերը մեզ պատրաստում է իրան նմանվելու համար The Lord is preparing us to become more like him Մենք չենք մտածում որ 
ինչ որ տեսնում ենք այդպես անենք and we are not thinking that whatever we see let's start let's do those things մենք մտածում ենք որ այն ինչ որ երկնքից ենք տեսնում դրան նմանվենք but we must rather meditate on the things that are in heaven to become more like that եթե կա մարմնավոր հասկացողություններ պետք է մեր կյանքից դուրս անենք if there is an understanding that we have within ourselves from the flesh we must cast it away from us վերջի բաժինը ուրեմն ֆիլիպեցիների 4-րդ գլուխ 19-ը խոսքն է And in the last portion is in Philippians chapter 4 verses 19. Last in ayo. Menk havatum eng vor asvats hokum e mer bolor garikneri hamar. Amen. And we we know that God that he uh let me read this. And we know that God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Menk an hok lineng mes hamar hok ker chaneng. That's why I do not have any worries within you. քանի որ ասված հոգում եմ այս համար because he cares for us հիմա ինչ է նշանակում անհոգ լինել what does it mean to not have a care չի նշանակում անտարբեր եղ լինել that doesn't mean become indifferent այլ ունենաս մեծ վստահություն հիսուս քրիստոսի վրա but rather have a great trust in jesus christ այսևէ ասում եւ իմ ասվածը լրացնել ձեր ամեն կարոտությունը այս կա բիդու բիդուկները իր հարստության չափով փարկով հիսուս քրիստոսով And may my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. So today we've learned his lesson the qualities of a servant or leader. Մեզանից յուրաքանչյուրի բնույթը պետք է լինի Հիսուս Քրիստոսի բնույթի պես. Our nature must be like the nature of Christ. Ավելի զսպված պետք է լինես։ We must be more quiet. Պետք է խոնար լինես։ More humble. Դան մեջ անգամ and even in our households Քոզայնը կարելի է բարսանալ մի պայմանով։ Your face your voice may only be elevated for one cause. Եթե դու ոչ երկրպակում ես։ Whenever you are worshiping the Lord. Ոչ թե պարգանում ես։ Not when you are getting angry. Ոչ որ արհամարում ես կամ խրոբում ես։ Or whenever you are offended or grieved. Այն դու ոչ երկրպակ է։ Only when you are worshiping the Lord. Եթե իսկ ապես խոնար ձարա։ Be a humble servant. Հիշեմ եք մենք անցյալ դասերի մեջ մի համար կար անդրադարձանք։ You remember from our previous lessons there was a verse որ ասված մոսեսին ասում է սերանով ազգերը ձեզ պիտի ճանաչեն that uh, god told moses that by this the nations will recognize եկոտ օրինաս գրկում է եւ ասում է պետք է ասուն երկր պակեն and it says that whenever they worship the lord ասեն իրավացի ձեր մեջ ասված կա they will say that god is among you մի բանաստեղծ and there is a poet պարսիկ բանաստեղծ a uh, persian poet անունը մորացել եմ and i forget his name Իրան հարց են դալի։ They asked him a question. Եվ ասում են, գիտեք, որ մենք որ մուսուլման ենք, այդպես էր ասում։ Do you know that since we are Muslim? Ասում են, մեր օրենքների մեջ կա that it is written in our laws. Եղբայրը սիրություն, սեր, there's brother uh, brotherly love. Իրար բարսացնել, խոնար, to encourage each other, to be humble, to be united. Ինչ ես ասում մեր ժողովրդի մեջ այդպիսի մարդիկ կան։ What do you say are there people like this among us? As me entanur Parskastani mech yes gidem mi hoki ga. And then he responds and says that all throughout Iran there is only one person I know like this. As me uvena. And they ask him who is this? Na dalis e mer hay azgin. And uh, they, he begins to As me hayer ait bisin kan. And he begins to say that the Armenians are like this. Na vor Hisus Kristosin entunele. In other words those that have accepted Jesus Christ. As me ait mega hayer. Ait mega hayer. That person is an Armenian. Եղիր այնպիսին be just like that որ այդպիսի երկրների մեջ ասեն so that in those other nations իրավացի սրանց աստվածը ճշմարիտ աստվածը that they will say that truly their god is is the is the right god դեր է փարավորվի amen շնորհակալ եմ ձեր ամբերության համար thank you for your patience դեր օրնի եկե կան մենք ոտքի եւ շարունակենք մեր պաշտամունքը we can all stand and continue today's service
Polera Sarchak and Surpes. Navirum sirta in, Kazem and Zayum Kyanka in, Ara Aini Chuzumes, Ara Aini Kok Yankne, Kamk name Kyanko Yakek Batank Mercer Terra, Tuitan for his Suska, Yavani, Aini, Aini inch for now Zume Mercer Terry match, Merkyankeri match.
Lord, I need you more. Come and pour. Pour your spirit. Come and pour your love. Pour your healing, Lord. I need you more. Come and pour your spirit. Come and pour. for everything that you do in our lives. We love you, Jesus. 
We thank you for this very hours in the service. We thank you for your people, Father. As today we will depart from service. Father, we ask from you to help us throughout our week. To so help us throughout everything we go through. Father, teach us to wait upon you. Teach us to not run but wait upon you. Teach us, Father, to hear your voice before we act upon you. And Father, we bring our families in your hands. All our cares in your hands. And today, Father, we ask for your hands to be stretched in our lives. Father, we pray with faith this afternoon for your healing to drop in our lives for your miracle to take over our bodies and for impossible situations to change to possibility Father, here I am as your word says just the way I am come to me I will mold you. Father, here we are. Just the way we are. Stretch your powerful hand in our lives today. So your light could shine in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Church says, Amen. God bless you, church. Our Jesus is amazing. Our Jesus loves you. Thanks for being in service today. You know, in Matthew 20, verse 28, it basically says that Jesus came to serve. Jesus was born. Jesus came to serve people. We of his people are here to serve one another. We are here to lift your hands up. We are here to say that you might be going through some hard times, but Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the victory. You might have troubles today, but I'll tell you one thing. Put it in God's hands. Put it in the hands of righteousness. And in that righteous hand, He will stretch it. The Bible teaches us His face will shine upon His people and breakthroughs will start happening. I believe the face of God is here to shine upon all of our lives. So breakthroughs can happen in your lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, with faith right now, Stretch up your hands and say, Father God, I believe your righteous hand is upon my life to break through every trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, right now, I put my hand on the part that has pain that there is sickness and I rebuke it in the name of Jesus and I speak healing on my life I speak miracle on my life in Jesus name Father let your healing come let your breakthrough happen right now in the name of Jesus on your people Holy Spirit and touch every brother and sister right now in Jesus name can we give a round of applause to Jesus can we give him glory can we thank him thank Jesus glorify his name our God answer prayers our God is alive 
Our God risen after three days. Jesus is real. His word is life and evermore. His blood dripped on you. He paid the price for you. Church, take it in victory today. Stand firm in Jesus. Trust God. Believe in Him. Put your heart in Him. And look at Him in righteousness. And Jesus will do the rest. Church, are you happy? Church, are you glad? Tell the one next to you, Jesus loved you. Tell the one next to you, it's okay to tell someone. Jesus loves you. God bless you. Thanks for being in church. May the Lord bless your week. May the Lord bless your families. God bless you all. Oh, I'm pushing back.